What's going on everyone? Welcome to another video about oil stoves. So it's been about a year since I made a video about these. When I decided to make these videos, I decided to do that because I myself found nothing about these on YouTube um, and is why I made my first few videos. So throughout the year, um, I, I saw a lot of interest and uh, that it was helping a lot of people. So I decided to keep making these videos. And uh, here's another one with a lot of hacks that you can use to either make your stove run better, uh, reduce the soot, and keep that yellow flame as blue as possible to uh, make it more efficient. So if this video helps, don't forget to subscribe, like that button there, click the bell so you get notified when I put out new videos. And don't be afraid to help out the community uh, by putting a comment below and giving your tips and tricks. So for this one, I want to give a big shout out to Element of Kindness, who, uh, who actually gave a lot of the tips that we're going to see in this video. So let's get started. So the first one I want to talk about is the carburetor. We hear this word a lot for oil stoves and it's actually not the proper term that we should be using because these parts should actually be just called regulators. Uh, carburetors, I have my cat on the table here. Carburetors are actually used to do a air and fuel mixture for engines. Um, so for oil stoves, that's not what's happening in these regulators. The regulators just either stop the fuel or the, the flow of oil or regulates it. So if you put it on setting one, it's, it's the slowest uh, flow rate. And if you put it all, up, all the way up to six, that's the highest flow rate. So we should actually be calling it a regulator. The next hack for these oil stoves is cleaning the glass. I mentioned in one of my videos to use uh, steel wool um, and it's actually not recommended because you can actually scratch the surface. So the best thing to use is either Windex or a water and vinegar mixture. Um, you can also use wood ashes. So if you have a wood uh, stove, use the wood ashes. The ashes from oil stoves is, is not the best because it's more of a sludge. You get that oil residue in it. So you might actually be uh, smudging the, the glass surface uh, even more. So yeah, you can also use newspaper. Um, it, it's not as harsh as uh, steel wool. For cleaning the burner, uh, there were some comments on YouTube that said, hey, you know, can we take the burner apart? Actually, you, you cannot, uh, well, most oil stoves, the burner is actually uh, screwed in place into the stove. So the best thing to use is a wire brush. You wanna get all those little holes um, free. That way the flow of air can uh, happen a lot smoother. And you can use a shop vac uh, to suck everything out. So that's probably the easiest way. Uh, just use a shop vac and uh, get that stove clean. You should be cleaning it as much as you can. So I would say at the minimum, twice a year, but just inspect it once in a while. If it's full of crud, just uh, clean it out, scrape it, clean it out. Here's another tip for the startup. So if you're having trouble starting your stove, um, use this hack. I really like it, I haven't tried it myself, but what you wanna do is you take a bit of steel wool and a little bit of alcohol. So you could take a 200 proof or ethanol uh, stay away from the starting gels because the starting gels will create some sludge or soot and they might splatter um, and get on your glass and everything. So just use that 200 proof uh, or ethanol. Um, place the steel wool at the bottom of the burner and just light that up. So put about two tablespoons of the uh, alcohol, light that up. And what's gonna happen is it's gonna get that steel wool nice and hot uh, you'll see it'll start getting a little red. After about five minutes, or when you see the bottom of the pan drying up with the alcohol, that's when you wanna put your regulator to uh, between one or two uh, for the flow setting on the regulator, not the carburetor. And you should get a nice startup. What's gonna happen is the oil, when it touches or gets close to the steel wool, it's gonna pretty much ignite right away. And it's gonna burn all that oil. Um, so the advantage of this is a lot less soot on startup and you're gonna get that nice heat for the startup to get that draft going in your chimney. You wanna remember with these oil stoves, if it's cold outside, 
and the flame or the stove is hot, well, that's gonna create that draft. So that, that uh, temperature difference is what creates the draft in the chimney. So that's actually a very important step. Here's a good hack to reduce the yellow flame. I see a lot of comments saying, hey, you know, Phil, your flame was, was actually yellow in your videos, which is true. Um, I'm, I'm still learning about these stoves. It's kind of like a science to, to really nail them down, but you'll notice a lot of stoves, they have catalyzers. So these catalyzers, they're like a, a piece of stainless steel, pretty much, that sits on the top of the burner. When the flame heats this catalyzer up, it acts kind of like a, I would compare it to like an afterburner on a jet, uh, if I wanna compare it here. Cause what an afterburner does, it's, it's, it's actually gonna heat up and burn what's left in the fume. So these catalyzers, uh, they, they don't create thrust or anything, but it's gonna burn efficiently all that extra oil that's atomized in the air and going out the exhaust. So you're gonna get more efficient burn, there's gonna be more heat in the burner, and you're gonna get that blue flame. So if you don't have a catalyzer, here's the hack for that. What you could do is you could, you could buy like a stainless steel mesh and actually just lay it on top of your burner. So you can see in this picture here, um, this is exactly what uh, one of the YouTubers did, which is Element of Kindness. So thanks again for those pictures. Just place it on top with the flame heating that up, you're gonna get a much better burn. You're gonna reduce that yellow flame and keep that nice and blue. Uh, the advantage of this is a more efficient heat and less soot buildup, so less crud in your uh, oil stove. Another hack to reduce soot or to reduce that yellow flame is actually to extend your chimney length. So the YouTuber Element of Kindness, he actually told me that, uh, or she, I'm not, I'm not too sure if it's male or female, but they had a chimney of 14 and a half feet long. And what they did is they, they noticed that the draft wasn't pulling enough. Uh, if you're not too sure what the draft means, uh, check out my other video that goes into detail about uh, the draft on uh, chimneys. So back to the story, 14 and a half feet, they extended it to 18 and a half feet. And that just that extra length was enough to get that, that bigger pull, that, that bigger pressure in the chimney to really suck that air through the oil stove. If you have stagnant air in your oil stove, uh, you're not gonna get enough airflow to get into the mixture of the uh, burning oil and you're gonna get soot, yellow flame. It's, it's just not gonna burn efficiently. So you need, you need that natural air coming in. If this video helped, please like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Hit that bell notification and give me ideas for new videos. I actually sold my two ice huts so I don't have access to an oil stove anymore, but uh, I do plan on making more videos and maybe even buying one to, uh, to try and burn used motor oil with it. Um, so just stay tuned. Let me know in the comments what you want to see or if there's still things that I can help out with. Uh, so I hope everyone has a good rest of the day and uh, see you soon.